Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic week. I had a pretty good week with the exception of the following. So some of you might be like, hey, where's the weekly beauty chit chat? <laughs> uh, here's the story behind that. I actually pre-filmed that yesterday because I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to like totally have everything ready to go for tomorrow. Um, thought I had uploaded it to YouTube last night um, and did not think to double check as sometimes I do not because I think like, oh yeah, I'm on top of it. I, I was not on top of it. Um, I never uploaded it, didn't double check, and then also saw my desktop was like just nothing but files, either YouTube stuff or work-related stuff, and was like, oh, I should clean this up, dragged a bunch of things to the garbage can, and then because it feels so good to hear that like crumpling sound when you empty it, decided to empty the trash on my desktop and deleted the file, and then realized this morning Oh, that's not there at all. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't there. I deleted it. And because I'm like irate about it, not with anybody else but myself, I just honestly don't feel like redoing it. So let's do something different today. Um, I did get my Scentsy bricks delivered yesterday. So let's sniff through these bricks. I hope that you guys are okay with that. Um, yeah, I just, sometimes I just do things where I'm like, why? <laughs> Today's one of those days. So, um, thank you for being, you know, kind about it. I promise it'll be back next week if that's what you're interested in. But for today, let's sniff through some bricks because yes, the bricks are back. First of all, massive props to Sensi for sending these out in like record time you guys i ordered these and then essentially like the next day they were at my doorstep like wild how fast that happened and really kind of a nice treat for me because normally a lot of the home fragrance that i order comes from like the east coast and we all know that the oregon trail is long and fedex really i mean it's like 10 miles an hour on the Oregon Trail, I swear. Usually takes me a couple weeks to get packages when I place orders from candle companies or whatever from the East Coast. So it was really nice to be able to get things in a timely manner for once. So thank you, Scentsy, for doing that. Um, I, um, I don't sell Scentsy. If you are new here, I'm not a consultant. I just buy all of this stuff from my bestie, Lisa. By the way, if you... If you were one of the people that was asking about our spring collab, you should stay tuned for Sunday because um, it's happening. So anyway, um, let's get into it, you guys. We're going to sniff through these. And um, yeah, I picked up all five of them. And Sensi does offer a like brick bundle. So if you want to just get like two of the bricks, you can bundle two for $40. Otherwise, they're 24 bucks each. And I kind of wish that they would have released six so that I could have done three bundles. But instead, I did two and the last one just I paid $24 for. So I wasn't sure necessarily that I wanted like a double of any of the scents quite yet. Even though I knew that a couple of these scents I've already loved in the past. So anyway, I'm sure I'll place another order. Let's get into it, you guys. So we're going to get started first with the Pink Apple and Nectarine, which so yummy. Okay, I'm going to read you guys the notes and then I'll tell you what I smell and kind of the overall like vibe of it. Um, so Pink Apple and Golden Nectarine dance in a field of wild poppies and lush sugar cane. All right, let's bust into it. I will say these bricks are they definitely snap shut. <laughs> Oh, I really like this one a lot. I really, really like this one. Now, I don't see myself probably warming this one or the Summer Berry Melon until we're a little bit further into like the end of May and June. These are very, like, these two specifically are very like summertime fragrances for me. By the way, if you've never purchased a brick, this is what it looks like. Um, I cut my cubes in half. Um, this is a regular Scentsy bar, and here's a brick. So, enormous, right? <laughs> 
Anyway, let's get into this. Oh, it's so sweet. This just has a really nice, um, nice balance between the apple and the nectarine. I, I love stone fruits like peaches, apricots, nectarines, definitely one of my favorite things to eat during the summer. And the nectarine that's in here smells so fresh, so juicy. It is delicious. And if you are at all like hemming and hawing about this one, allow me to like push you over the edge to try it because it is absolutely delightful. I'm a huge fan. I should have probably just gotten another one. <laughs> it's fine. You know, it's fine. I can just do another two pack. All right, that's delicious. Two thumbs up for sure. All right, next, let's go in with the Summer Berry Melon. This is another one that I'm kind of excited about. Okay. Um, cassava melon. I don't think I've ever had a cassava melon before. Um, have you, have you had a cassava melon? I don't think that I have. Strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple burst on the scene in a fruity and fun sensation. This one screams like July to me in terms of like when I think this is going to be the most delicious. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yum. Oh, definite, definite. Like the melon hits you right away. If this is what a cassava melon smells like, this particular melon note, it probably tastes delicious. Mm, I smell the strawberry and I smell that raspberry. Luckily, I don't pick up a ton of pineapple in here. If you are somewhat new to my home fragrance content stuff, I find that pineapple in home fragrance smells super artificial to my nose. I typically don't like it at all. Every once in a while, either a wax company or a candle company gets pineapple right for my nose, but a lot of times they don't. So I typically try to skip anything that has pineapple in it. Um, I do not get much pineapple in here. There is the slightest bit of like tang um and like maybe like a touch of sour that you would get from a pineapple but this is mostly focused on the melon the strawberry and the raspberry and that beautiful combination this just screams fourth of july to me like a giant fruit salad you know and then like slices of watermelon and it's just like like a fruit bar love to do like a giant just fruit bar with like different toppings, like caramel, chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Oh my God. Um, I love to dip fruit into things. That's the kind of person that I am. Um, anyway, this is delicious. If you are, like I said, on the fence, just get her, get her, get her. All right, Beach Daisy. Oh, don't turn off. All right, Beach Daisy. This was the one that I was a little tiny bit like iffy about. Turns out it's great. Do I think I'm gonna buy a second one of Beach Daisy? Probably not, but I do think that I'm gonna enjoy this one. I think this is gonna be a good transition for like spring into summer. So like end of May type of vibe before I'm like full summer mode. I think this is gonna be a good one. Honeydew melon, wild daisies, and green apple make a bouquet of fresh picked paradise. There's something about this particular scent that really kind of reminds me of the 90s. <laughs> so I am in my mid 40s. And for me, like that was kind of like my prime teenage years. And um, I used to love all of like, you know, like the sunflowers and the daisy motif things that were like big in the 90s, but also sunflower and daisy smells were also big back then. And this just, while it doesn't remind me of like a specific body care product I had back then or perfume or anything like that, it just kind of, it just gives me that vibe, like that 90s vibe. Ugh. Yeah, that daisy note just is really like fresh and bright and energetic. Um, think like Clinique Happy, like just that type of like bold, vibrant, just summery, fun, sunshiny scent like that's really what this um comes across as i do pick up a like melon note in here 
it's definitely honeydew i would say it's honeydew is different from cantaloupe and this does smell like that that type of sweetness um yeah it's it's honeydew for sure green apple i'm not so sure about i feel like my nose isn't really picking that up I feel like I'm getting more of that like daisy sunflower type scent mixed with that melon note. Maybe the green apple comes out a little bit more when I'm warming it, but on cold sniff, I'm not really picking that up quite yet. But I do love me a green apple note. Um, so yeah, I actually quite enjoy this one despite being kind of like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Um, but it is, it is quite nice. So if you like, uh, if you like those 90s scents, like that 90s perfume type vibe, uh, you should give this the old college try for sure. Next, let's chat about Orchard by the Sea. This was another one that I was not 100% about, but it is really quite nice and interesting. This one has like a salty, um, beachy air type vibe to it, and it's it works. Um, I've never been to an orchard by the sea. Like, obviously, you know, ap apple picking can be done in a lot of places. But here in Oregon, we like to go out to um, the Hood River area to, you know, do apple picking and things like that. Um, I'm not sure if there's any orchards by the Oregon beach. But if there is, I should check them out because this is such an interesting combination of that salty ocean air vibe with an apple note. Let's, let's talk about what Sensi says here. An apple orchard flourishes between, sorry, not between, beneath <laughs> sea salt skies and whispers of clean linen and green mango. Yeah, I do get a really nice kind of generic sweet apple note in here, more along the lines of like the sweeter apples, like the Honeycrisp, um, like the Fuji apples, just, you know, the crisp, like juicy, sweet apple note like that's definitely what is present in here and when you drive to the beach and you first get out of your car and you take that deep breath and it, you can smell like that ocean air where it's just like you, you know it's salty and it's fresh and it's clean and it's like it just renews your soul like this one here just feels like a very renewing type of fragrance to me so good it is sweet at the same time as it is salty and that just kind of works i feel like those two types of scents together really do work even though in the past i don't think i would have appreciated a fragrance like this but as i like get older the more i find myself embracing different types of scents i used to only love gourmand gourmand and fruity but mostly gourmand this is a little different for me and i'm really loving it beachy scents are quickly becoming kind of my thing um probably won't be a year-round thing it'll be very specific for the summertime but i'm a fan in terms of that like crisp linen scent i don't think this really reminds me of like a laundry detergent scent but it is so like clean smelling that i think that that could imply clean linen um, and in terms of green mango I'm not sure that I smell mango at all in here at least when it's on cold sniff to me that mango note may come out a little bit more so yeah anyway this is one that I see myself enjoying uh, this spring because it's just so nice and clean but it also gives me that sweetness that I just kind of naturally tend to gravitate towards as a gourmand lover so this one here and this bad boy right here are going to be my like April to early May type scents from Scentsy for sure. These, oh, you guys, cucumber and cactus water. I already know that I love this one. I had this one in the past and it's so delicious. Um, so let's read through, uh, it's, it's pretty short description. <laughs> Crisp cucumber wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. Again, here we have that like salty air type vibe. And one of my favorite fresh scents from Scentsy is aloe water and cucumber. And the cucumber that's in here is the same cucumber that I feel like they use in aloe water and cucumber. Mmm. This is a little, is a, it's, a, it's a lot more gr green than aloe water and cucumber. But again, 
fresh, clean, a really nice, authentic cucumber, I feel like. And a lot of that, like, salty air type vibe. Like, it's kind of heavy on that. So if you typically don't, mm, if you're not a fan of, like, that salty, beachy air type smell, I don't think you're gonna like this one, but I feel like if you like aloe water and cucumber, you're gonna be a fan of this one. Um, and in terms of like cactus water, I mean, yeah, like it, it definitely has like an aquatic type vibe to it as well. So yeah, I mean, I guess you could call that cactus water. It's really well done, you guys. And if you're looking for something to motivate you into like finishing up your spring cleaning projects, this is the one you need. Um, I am definitely gonna be digging into this one this weekend. Um, I'm so excited. And again, thank you Sensi for like sending it to me in like a friggin' day. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. But anyway, you guys, those are my thoughts on the five bricks that were just released. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, yeah, and let, let me know what you picked up. I am very curious to see what other people's takes are on some of these. And I'm really excited to enjoy these over the next couple of months. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Again, if you if you like Scentsy content, you should stay tuned for Sunday. All right, um, have a great rest of your day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.